Welcome everyone to this video. In this video, I'll tell you how to remove white background from any image without using Photoshop. It's going to be a very informative and a very interesting video. So let's get right into it. So I've opened up Photopia.com, the best online free image editor that you'll find. So all the images I use in this video will be linked in the description below. So please check them out. Now I'll go from open to computer. Sorry, not to, from. Open from computer. And then you can find all the images that you downloaded. So here are those images. And I, and also one more thing that I wanted to tell you that this video will be divided into three sections easy medium and hard so this is the easy section so let's just click on easy so this is a pretty simple image uh, ditched sorry so I wanted to say that this is a digital illustration so it will be quite easy to remove the white background so it's just a pot plant with a solid white color so to remove the background, we'll go to the magic wand tool. Here it is. And then you should have the tolerance to 32 and you should turn off contiguous and turn on anti-alias. And when you do it, just click on the white background. So here you can see it selected the back, sorry, not the white, the white background. Here you can see right here now I can make a mask out of it so in a mask you have to remember two things that white is equal to add and black is equal to subtract so here you can see if I click alt and select my mask you can see that black has covered all our plant because actually we selected the white background so it masked out the plant so let me go back to my original image by holding down alt on the mask and control Z so so now to invert the selection we can hold down control shift I and then if we make a mask out of it the white background is removed let's start with the medium level so let's go to open from computer and medium which is a beautiful butterfly so let's do the same thing that we did in the previous lesson so magic wand let's select the white background inverted select modify let's add some feather of one pixel and make a mask out of it so most of y'all will think that it's done but actually it's not if you see closely here you can see the butterfly the spots that were white on this butterfly are transparent now because as i told you in the previous level that that magic wand chooses one color not chooses selects one color so it selected all the white color and now all of them are transparent so how to fix them so what we can do is undo undo deselect we can turn on contiguous which will do which will not select the uh, like the spots in the butterfly but just one singular constant color that I clicked on so the white color is selected inverted select modify feather okay and mask now you can see that these white spots are not png or transparent anymore and we have accomplished our level two so now let's start with the hard level so let's go to open from computer and hard so first let's just crop this access background right 
here. So let's go to crop and let's crop it here. We can also crop it from the top and the bottom. And now let's zoom in so it's alt, alt, and then your mouse scroll wheel. And if you are on a laptop, control plus. And then here you can carefully remove this axis background right here. Now let's zoom out and click and hit enter and now our cropping is done and here you can see it's a very complex background and overall it is not a digital illustration so it's done on paper and paper is not exactly white and has some tonal variation here and there so we can just use magic wand on it first we'll have to apply a leveled adjustment layer so to do that we'll hit ctrl l and then here we have telling photopia that this is the brightest spot and this is the darkest box so make it more bright or make it more dark so let's click here on white and and tell whoops and tell this that this is the brightest spot and then let's click on black and tell that this is the darkest spot whoops i'm still on white let's cancel it let's do it again levels white done black and then we can say that this is the darkest spot and here just see how much of tonal variation it is now so much contrast is there so now and it's basically looking like a digital illustration so now we can apply the magic wand here let's go to magic wand click on the white and then Control shift i and then let's just make a mask out of it so now to perfect it here you can see that there are some bits and bobs that are not exactly black some white spots are still left here so what we can do to fix it is let's hit control and select on the mask so here you can see that it made the selection of the object right here so control and if you click on it it just makes a selection out of the object and then we can go to the brush tool make sure our foreground color is black so now here it is you can see it's white x black and now we have to go on the like the image not the mask and here you can see if i paint it see it's all going to pitch black which we want to do so now we can just paint all of this out like this and control d to deselect and we've successfully removed the background from this mandala art and to make it just even more beautiful we can add a gradient let's make a new layer bring it down and go to the gradient tool so we can pick a gradient but all of these are ugly so let's just make a black and a white gradient and then we can edit it like this we can pick a warm like gold for, to be our first color and this can be type of a orangish like a warm orange color let's just put it like this amazing so we have successfully removed the background from this mandala art and added an additional gradient amazing thank you so much for watching our video please do subscribe to our channel because it would help us immensely brainy brothers are signing up for now bye bye see you soon